Okay, so today I'm just going to quickly show you how to upgrade an older Expanse to Gen 2 with all the new features. So this is an Expanse 1.4, uh, so as of the 1st of August, which is obviously in a few months, but still, 1st of August this system will stop working as it is because the old modules, the old licensing system will be um, depreciated and the system will just stop working. Now obviously that's not good, we don't want to do that, we didn't do that deliberately, it's just this new system that we've put in will make it a lot easier for us to update things in the future without having to do this again, so it's a necessary evil. Um, so what you want to do is, as you can see, we have the old kit, the Expanse Gen 1.4 there, and then the new kit here, the Expanse Gen 2. Now, if all you want to do is make it work after the 1st of August, if you're completely happy with how the system works, and you don't want to change anything, you don't want any of the new features, you just want it to carry on working, all you've got to do is core script, delete that, outputs, delete that, and the old kit, and then from the new kit, legacy alarm devices, outputs, and core script, copy those, and put them in the old system. Now, the old system will carry, will carry on working for the indefinite future. It's basically going to act as if it is a, a Gen 2. You're just not getting some of the new features. So if I go in... As you can see, it's working fine, um, and everything everything works. It's just you won't get the new features like the keypad cam lock and all that stuff. But the system will continue working after August the first. So if that's all you want to do, just legacy alarm devices outputs and the core script from the new kit, put them into the old one, and delete the old outputs folder and the old core script. Now, if you want. Um, to have the new features with the keypads, you're going to have to replace the keypads. So you can mix and match though. So if you only want the cam lock feature, where it locks your camera in for mobile and stuff, if you only want that on one keypad, that's completely fine. You can just replace that one keypad and leave the rest of them. So this keypad here, for example, let's just delete that, slot a new one in its place. But all, there's other keypads on this system, and we can leave those as the old ones. We don't need to update all the keypads, just whichever ones you want to have the new features. So now if we go in, as you can see it's now got the cam lock feature. All the rest of the keypads won't because they haven't been updated, but this one does because we just updated it. So basically you don't, you can't swap any scripts, there's, with the keypads and the bell boxes and all the new updates there's just too many updates to manually do it, so just replace the device basically. With the bell boxes, again, if you want the new features, just get one of the new bell boxes from the Gen 2 kit and replace the bell boxes. It's really as simple as that. Um, but this system as is, just with the core script replaced, this will continue working as if it's a Gen 2 system, even though it isn't. So, there you go. And that's really how you do that. If what you can do, if you want to completely update the system, if you want to put it into this Gen 2 folder and have all the new devices, but you want to keep the zones, because obviously you don't want to have to redo all of your zones if it's a massive place like this is, kind of, you can just go into the old one, get the expanders, and drag them in. And then that's basically just copied over all of your zones and all of your zone config into the new system. So, basically you can do it either way, but the whole system needs replacing if you want it to be completely updated, um, but you can keep your zones by just dragging over your expanders and you can also copy your core config into the new system and keep all your settings. So hope that makes sense, just a quick video to show you how to do this, um, how to update to Gen 2. So.